They might not sound like much, but peat bogs are one of the most unique ecosystems in the whole world. Unfortunately, human activity has destroyed much of it, and widespread deforestation continues to happen as well. Today, we're looking at why we've done this and why we need to reduce it. Peat bogs take thousands of years to form from dead plants. They're very acidic and so they provide a unique ecosystem for lots of organisms that depend on it. For example, Venus flytraps. Peat can be taken from the peat bogs and used as fuel. But when it burns, it releases carbon dioxide. It can also be used as garden compost by leaving it to decay. But as it decays, it also releases carbon dioxide. Destroying peat bog reduces biodiversity as species lose this unique habitat. Deforestation is also reducing biodiversity, which is when land is cleared of its trees. This is happening particularly in tropical areas like rainforests. It's cleared for a few different reasons. First of all, to make room for cattle and also for rice fields. And the third reason is to make room for crops that are used to make biofuel. Species like orangutans are now facing extinction as their habitats are taken from them. There's another impact, and it's to do with carbon dioxide. Pause the video and see if you can make the link between deforestation and carbon dioxide. Okay, well deforestation increases carbon dioxide levels. Normally trees absorb carbon dioxide during photosynthesis, but less trees mean there's less absorption of carbon dioxide during this process. If the cut down trees are burned, they'll also release more carbon dioxide into the air. You'll learn more about the impact of this gas in the next video. Okay, time for some questions. Pause the video, give them a go, and then press play to go over the answers. 1. Why are humans destroying peat bogs? There are two reasons, to get peat for fuel and for garden compost. Two. Give two reasons why deforestation is carried out. There are three answers, but you just need to give two from these. It clears land for cattle, and for rice fields, and for biofuel crops. And three, it is important that biofuel crops are planted. This justifies large-scale deforestation. Give a brief counter-argument for this statement. Well, there are two arguments we've seen in this video. Firstly, cutting down trees reduces biodiversity. And secondly, it increases the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere as there are less trees to take in the carbon dioxide. But you could have gone maybe a little bit off spec and thought of your chemistry or physics and said that there are some alternatives to biofuels. It's not the only option. For example, green electricity like uh, electricity generated by solar panels. But these are the two covered today. Okay, how did you do? The next video discusses one of the most important topics of this century. It's global warming. Click here to watch it and please subscribe if you find this useful. Thanks and bye.